situation possible here. Now, is this a best of five? Yeah, yeah it is, right? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything going forward. Okay. Two, one, go. So it's not like he'll be able to steal it. If he wins the set, it's going to really have to be well-earned. Yeah. Three victories. And this matchup is so volatile. Okay, oh, so I right there, problem. Um, I noticed this. The Falcons will do this. They'll uh, try to run grab. Yeah, and Pikachu's, I think they're... I think more often Falcons win that kind of exchange. But uh, a good Pikachu knows to just kind of wait for it and grab at the right time. Yeah. Pikachu will more often than not stay still, and when the Falcon runs and grabs, it'll almost exclusively lead to uh, Pikachu getting the grab. Exactly. Dash grab. Ooh, oh, wow, and that pivot! Speed. Beautiful, oh. beautiful job Whoa. by Joey, but a better adjustment mid-motion like motion by Alvin. Yeah, he wow. got around the initial hit. <laughs> Alvin looking fast right there. Oh, ooh, ooh, and he definitely didn't want that F smash, but it was a great up air to... Get out of what Joey had started. Uppy won't take it. Ooh, oh, and that's that Alvin recovery we see. And he wisely, he he decides, you know, he just takes his ground, right? Like, Hero kind of concedes the edge. Oh, and that's that situation you were talking about again. Oh. Uh, this is not looking good for Hero. Yeah, Alvin looks like he knows exactly how to play this matchup. And just forces Kira to go low and edge hogs. It's two stocks like that. Oh, that's more back interesting. Here. He tries to approach with that. Nice. Speed. Did you see that's the second time Alvin tried to approach with that backward facing Nair. Last time he got it and then he did the up tilt pivot around and grab. Yeah. Oh, that interesting. was uh, very... Oh. Up smash. Ah. Should be enough. Yeah. So a three stock by Alvin. Not looking so mortal there, was he? <laughs> wow. I don't know if he's going to stay. And it's, you know, this game is just so amazing. I'm, I'm constantly amazed when I see a player as good as Kiro, you know, lose that decisively to anybody. It was kind of like seeing tacos get handled by Boom in some of those games, right? Yeah. It's just unbelievable. Because you play those players, I mean... Hey, you actually did very well, uh, Cobra, in your set versus Tacos. But sometimes, you know, I play a player at that level and I just, I'm like, wow, these guys are, I can't believe you can get be better than this. And you see a, a player like Alvin or Boom, just do that to them. So Kiro's going to get some coaching from Isaiah. Isaiah, not, you know, as, not as often playing these days, but still just a well of knowledge and the father of the modern meta, Absolutely. if you will. In a lot of ways, everything that you see people do stems from something that he has sort of done or discovered. So, Hero, I mean, what does he need to do differently? I don't know. I mean, I think less reckless approaches and decisions, for sure. But like, yeah. It's much easier said than done. And Alvin ha hasn't messed anything up when he, he capitalizes on it. You know, every instance. And he doesn't overextend. He doesn't need that extra hit. Alvin just gets himself back. And Joey's got to take a second to compose himself here. So Kira's going to wait top flat. And Alvin's in there right away. Ah, I think he tried to full hop. Oh, risky. And for Pika players, take note. You know, when you watch something like this, like certain things you need to do when you play Falcon. Because a lot of Pikas have trouble with Falcon. I thought that was going to be the up there Nair stranded. So. Kiros wasn't sure what to do there. He sort of concedes uh, part of the stage and just Another lets Alvin back. In, gets yep. Oh, yeah, and that's going to do it. Very nice. Another commanding uh, lead for Alvin. Yeah. Kira doesn't look like he's been able to get anything together. We know if Kira's able to secure a grab or an up smash, uh, it's pretty much a stock, you know, with his ability, his punish game. Let's see if he's able to do it here. Yeah, that that was necessary. I don't know if the uh, single, I don't yeah. know if the up air up B would have worked. That should, that should do it. Should do it. All right, so Kira with a stock there. Look at that nair, that. 
Let it all hang out. Another one. Yeah. And that's actually a very good... Oh, there's yeah. a rising up air. The fastball up air. That should take... That's going to yeah. do it. Yeah, that was a beautiful... Brings it back to even. Yeah, that was so beautiful to, to start that. And to continue, it was another hard move. That fastball uh, up air without double jumping. But again, Perfect. it raises the grab battle. Yeah, and... So the oh. thing about the... Um, that Nair, that's something that Dexter was writing about. Uh, that Nair will usually be out up air. Um, really? Just, Pika's Nair? Falcon's Nair. Oh, okay. Pika's up air. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, a good piece of info because good show jump. A lot yeah. of people are always struggling to get around that, you know, sword of Pika's intruding from his rear. And that shield jump was so clutch. Yeah. Now this we is see not more, more players uh, use that at even an intermediate level, and it's just really a great way to escape a grab. Almost got antsy. Uh, almost lands that up air. Tried to get oh, another great shield, shield, jump. shield jump. Yeah. And, uh, I think up B, but you know, if you can't get it, you can't get it. So Kiro looks like he's back in this match right now, and Alvin slowing it down a little. Uh, oh. no, doesn't get the shield jump there. Yeah. That might be enough. Yeah. And that's gonna be the second game for Alvin and Kiro. Right when he looked like he was back in that, Alvin was able to slow it down on the ledge, and he gets back up with that F air. And F air for Pika is a, a move that's I think come back into popularity after being gone for so long. So yeah. People can di, you know, away and whatnot, but. It's good for spacing, and a lot of times it leads to a grab, which we saw there. So is he going to stay? That's I don't know, yeah. I mean, he got handled game one. Game two had moments, you know, where it was he was very good. Like, moments where he was good. Moments where, you know, he had mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Um, he slowed up the, whole, the pace overall. Um, it's really impressive to see... Alvin's ability to avoid, you know, getting hit by either the up smash or getting grabbed in neutral. It's yeah, Kiro. That's the difference, right? I mean, if Kiro lands one up smash or one grab, even that fat, like he, he did that rising up air. You know, Kiro's weapons. If he lands one of those, it's usually going to be a stock. And Kiro guess, opting for the Falcon att attempt again. Yeah. There's an up smash. Now the question is how this is going to... No jump from... Yeah, good reaction there by Alvin. Yeah, and Alvin's back. I'm surprised that Alvin went in to try to connect that down air. That, that traded with the up smash. be the first stock to kill. This is the only lead he's had yet. Yeah, this is true. We hear those taunt cancels. Oh, uh, hero making, he's getting antsy there. Yeah, and Alvin obviously was floating away from that because he knows that he didn't have the advantage when he lands that Nair on shield. Kiro's got to be careful not to put himself uh, in danger with a great back air. But oh, there's that up air, that up smash again. Air. Oh, ah, he faded. I feel like he could have gotten on stage, but perhaps not. Alvin's just a monster on the edge versus Falcon. Yeah, you just got to let him back on. Oh, great! Oh, that, great up smash. Yeah, he finally connects one and. Oh, but Wispy, good roll from Falcon. Not seen very often, but really perfect roll. Oh, and that Nair, Nair doesn't beat out forward air. Yeah. <laughs> Telling you the forward uh, air tries just... to run in. That's and he's got to use that. something, or he's gonna get hit by it. And Forward arrow will make him kind of have to delay that upbeat a little too long so he's able to be edge hog. Reverse. Some damage. Yeah. To the ledge. That's what's so problematic about edge guarding Pika, right? Anyone who listens to Dave, if you're watching, don't listen to Dave about Pika being really easy to edge guard. But uh, that won't kill. Nope. He did a back throw. Uh, but, oh. um,. You know, if you take edge against Pika, they can almost always just go to the top and go to the opposite, you know, platform. Right. So, nice oh. back. But you have to, you know, take, it's a gamble, right? Like, what they're going to go for. But if Pika can see you on the ledge and go to the other one, they see you running away, you can just go to the ledge. 
Oh, they both. Alvin right in. That Nair was really nice. Oh, the tech. To, there, up smash. Nope. Oh. Uh, tech error. Yeah. Oh, oh. But Alvin with the suicide. Two tech errors in a row. Flub City population two. And this might be enough. This could be a game in Kira's favor here. Some Big crazy DI from Alvin. And Kira takes game three. Yeah, and Alvin trying to DI sort of up and away, but... Hero back on the board, or on the board, <laughs> rather. Yeah, not <laughs> not back on the board. So Alvin's gonna have a chance to counter pick should he feel the need. Though right. I don't think he, that he will. Uh, he might ditto. I can see him dittoing. Yeah. But that's such a volatile. I, I guess Pika Falcon is a very volatile matchup as well. But. Or, I mean, he might even try Mario. He's certainly thinking about it. Unless he's just taking his time here. You never really know what's going through Alvin's head, do you? <laughs> Stay, <Pika. laughs> Now, if he were to go Mario... <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to do that against Kiro. No, but he does play with Caesar. A lot. Yeah. So... And... <laughs> taunt to get bodies. Combo. Ooh. Oh, that was. And that's exactly what Hero was getting caught by. Exactly, in the opposite. Oh, and oh. great recovery. Hero tries Slow to get there. that hedgehog. Ah, oh, but the challenge doesn't. Oh. And that is probably. Oh, but Alvin lets him back on. Yeah. That's and a, gets the reverse up there. A rare missed edge guard. Oh, great angle by Alvin. Yeah. Oh, I was surprised an up. We didn't see an up B there. Don't know if it's if it would have connected. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow, nice recovery. Yeah. I can't really do anything about it. And that uh, neutral B from Alvin forces you know Falcon to have to go straight to the ledge, which will work out. Cause all he has to do is edge hog. Yeah, so that's something that's actually really interesting. Um, that multiple characters can do against Falcon, but few people. Good up smash. Few people uh, explore this. So Falcon has great ankle. Few, uh, Falcon has a very predictable recovery. And right. And if he um, is forced to use Falcon Punch, for instance, he can only go you know, like a certain. You know where he's gonna be. Yeah, right? you can so, really punish that. With Samus. You know, oh, you nice can, nair. He takes it. Samus, you can charge shot as soon as he says punch, shoot. It'll hit him 100% of the time if he's trying to recover. Oh, oh, the bait. Yeah, that was perfect. Oh, and Alvin gets hit with the down air, but... That'd be enough. No, yeah, that's going to be fine because he was at such a low percentage. I think he was at 0%. So Pika's now will be using neutral B when yeah. they know Falcon has to do something. So that down air from Kiro on recovery is the second time we saw him use that. You know, First try time that. Yeah, traded. Yeah. He only so. did 14. If, I mean, it would have been a favorable trade if you were at, like, 100. Yeah. Right. And then... You know, at a high percent, that's the stock, right? Oh, and that's so nice what to creep under that F air. Oh, oh. And Kiro with the tech error. And yeah. Can't do anything about it. Man, and Alvin. Alvin's very good at that micro spacing. Yeah, he has shown um, like practically no fear of Kiro being near him. Yeah, most Pikas do not want to be near Falcon. Ah, oh, the bad hit. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible when it happens. Hero really trying to bait Alvin. Oh, very nice. Yeah, he, he definitely baited him into that. Oh, Alvin, that's the Alvin angle. Yeah. Up he will take. Now, you know, two stocks, this is two grabs, two up smashes, whatever. Avoiding invincibility is going to be the hard part for Kiro. Oh, that's There's a, one up smash. Yeah, that's a good trade for Kiro there. Alvin kind of really wanted that. And he he's, he's going to pay for it. Oh! Not for his life, but... Man, I thought he was going to pay for that with a stock. He, he probably knew that Nair was going to trade or wasn't totally safe. He tried it anyway. Now, you know, here Kiro again has to play very carefully. And here's where Kiro... Oh, which he didn't. Last time he had his back to Alvin, and then he ran in for the grab. Oh! oh! And that... Oh, oh. And Alvin... Kiro had a chance there. He Alvin did. was... 
hero is getting a little too antsy right now. Oh, and yeah, and there's unless... That... That, that's that again, you know, that's conceding that space to Alvin, just letting him back up. But, you know, I understand as Falcon, you need to be really cautious when the peak is on the ledge.